Hey guys, this is Danny Boy. So we're continuing the final mission here. The next part of it. This particular fight really sucked a lot. It's going to be a Ravager in a second. And I have essentially no way of dealing with him. All I have is my crappy... Valkyrie. And it just does no damage to him at all. And it takes me a while to realize it, but these Marauders just infinitely spawn. Until you kill that Ravager. They never stop coming. So I waste a whole lot of time killing Marauders when I should have just been focusing on the Ravager. But it's really hard to do so, because I always have like four Marauders shooting at me, so I can't really peek out of cover for very long, and of course the Ravager shooting at me, which is also problematic. And I actually think I have Garrus with a Widow right now. I should have probably switched him to that. That would have sped things up a bit. I actually am attempting to have him move up right there, but he doesn't listen. Don't know why, but... I guess he didn't want to get shot. Kind of annoying. And I am way too afraid to charge right here. I don't want to have to deal with the Ravager up close, even closer than I am. And it's also annoying because where I'm positioned right now is just out of range of being able to actually target the Ravager, by which I mean there's no box on him, there's no... You just, you know, you see the red boxes. He's out of range for a red box, which makes it impossible for me to use party member powers on him as well. I can't use a drone on him. I can't use a proximity mine. Or at least, whenever I try to use a proximity mine, it just places it right next to me in the cover I'm in. And the drone just didn't seem to work. So, that all sucked, and see more marauders. They just come, and they come. They never stop streaming in. And I'm realizing it now, so I'm starting to go after the Ravager himself. I also can't see the Ravager's health bar because he's too far away, and I don't want to move up. This is a much better defensive position. Even here, they're starting to try to flank me, but I can easily deal with them from here. Whereas if I was farther up, they'd be able to flank me on both the right and the left. And I would have just way worse cover against the Ravager against his rockets. Especially since he has high ground right. So I can't see how much damage I'm doing to him. I can't really use powers on him. I have a million Mirage attacking me. At this point, I am just shooting at him and then watching my shields and seeing how much damage they're taking, and then I'm going to duck back into cover. I'm not really even paying attention to the Marauders anymore. Like right there. I mean, that was fairly obvious because he broke my shield. <clears throat> I also have a defense drone out just in case they do flank me. And there he goes, finally. So that really sucked. A whole lot. That was awful. Which is kind of a theme of this mission, just... Wow, that was awful. Now a brute's coming. Which is also awful. <laughs> Never ends. Getting a little aggressive here. The reason I'm only using a Valkyrie, by the way, is because if I use the Valkyrie with basically anything else... It would neuter my power recharge. I have, I think, 145%. With how weak my weapon choices are, I can't afford to go any lower than that. It would just be impossible. I need to be able to charge when I need to charge. I need to be able to set up biotic detonations with pulls and then follow with a charge. And there's really no lightweight choices anyway. If I chose any of the mid or lightweight pistols, I'd just be able to use the Predator or an Eagle or something. And those wouldn't help me. They're not high damage weapons for dealing with hard targets, so that wouldn't help me. Otherwise, I need to take an SMG, and again, that really just wouldn't help me. They fill the same niche as, as the Valkyrie. But this part is done. Things speed up a bit, though, after this, and get a little more entertaining, at least for me, because we finally have some areas that are actually well-suited to the Vanguard. We have this... It seems to be a grocery store or something some sort of store, and it's really small enclosed areas, 
And barring grenades, it's very easy to outmaneuver these guys and to just charge when I need to and then duck behind cover. Grenades can be a problem at times, because they can throw them over the counters. Otherwise, I pretty well control this area. I'm trying to just push as well, because I don't know if they infinitely spawn. I never know on this level. That would've sucked. That was actually really close. Charging into a grenade as a vanguard is probably the single worst way to die. <laughs> single most frustrating way to die. Though there are quite a few frustrating ways to die in a vanguard. With all the classes. I have to say, this mission was definitely high risk, high reward on a vanguard. I think I mentioned that before. Because it was. There was a tremendous amount of risk charging in this mission for the most part. To the point that it was just suicidal a lot of the time. But if you could pull it off, you could really speed up these sequences. And it's funny because before this mission, I think I used biotic detonations on this vanguard maybe 10 times through the entirety of the game, and maybe, that's probably a high estimate. But I guess you just kind of do what's necessary to get through. With whatever limitations you have. This room's about done, though. This was a lot faster. And I hate relying so much on powers. I really don't like powers builds. I feel like they're too easy. But I don't really have a choice. If I was trying to do significant damage with this Valkyrie, I would run out of ammo a fourth through a fight, you know, just within the first minute or two of a fight. Because it's not upgraded. And I wanted to continue my theme of, you know, unupgraded weapons. And I, I got it halfway through the total mission anyway. This mission, Earth, is broken into two parts if you watch the other part. Halfway through the final mission, you can change your party and your loadout. I got my email from EA giving me the Valkyrie, giving me the code for it, and then halfway through the mission, I switched to it. So I'd already missed my opportunity to upgrade it on the Normandy. But whatever. This is another quick and painless area for the most part. I feel like Marauders should have spawned though, maybe if you move up here quickly, they just don't spawn, or maybe I already killed them, I just thought more spawned than actually did. Bad sounds. Didn't expect that. Forgot about that. I was expecting husks. But no, it's a room filled with death. And I really didn't want to charge him. I felt like it was too dangerous. These guys, though. Once you can get a biotic detonation set up, it, it does a lot of damage, and it just knocks everybody everywhere as a vanguard. To the point that I'm not following through with Novas, because I just am too afraid to lower my shield. Because enemies spawn everywhere, and I don't know where. And it's just so easy to die. Especially more open areas. This one wasn't too bad. But the more open outdoor places were really rough in that respect. I'm trying to intelligently position my party members, but it really didn't make much of a difference. And I feel like I should be flanking right right now, going behind me. Yeah. Like, see, if I'd done that, I wouldn't have just died. <laughs> Did not expect there to be a Marauder there at the time. And in retrospect, yeah, probably should have, probably should have flanked right. Didn't think about it. That sucked. What can you do? It is amazing how quickly those guys can sneak up on you some of the time. And so quietly. You don't really expect it. I mean, they're AI. They're not supposed to be that smart. <laughs> Roger that. 
And I don't know what's shooting me right now. What is shooting me? Oh, he was just killed. So I won't be making the same mistake again. I don't know if I do flank right or not, but I do know that I don't die again. So whatever I did, it worked a lot better. Well, for one thing, the brute came to me, so that makes things easier. There is that big freaking window, though. They can still get line of sight on me. But I do have a lot of practice dealing with brutes in really close quarters for the most part. Still mistime my roll sometimes. Or I think in that case I rolled into a table. Just die. You can do it. So this is about cleaned out. Wasn't that bad compared to some of the other sequences. And I mentioned this in a previous video as well, but this was definitely by far the hardest mission for the Vanguard. I think the Valkyrie was a huge part of that if I had had a better shotgun. But even then, I'd rather just had a shotgun like the Claymore. It would have been a lot easier. But I don't think it would have been that much easier, to be honest. I don't think it would have really made up for it so much. Groups were just huge. Very difficult to flank. Because of how they spawn and because of how the the layout, the maps are laid out, makes things difficult. Very punishing for an aggressive playstyle. I'd be really defensive. And rely on detonations to just clear out large swaths of enemies. And you don't have the luxury of just kind of hanging back either. Because they do tend to spawn infinitely, at least in some areas. So I don't know. Seems like you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't in some parts of this mission. Did not have anywhere near as much trouble on my engineer, but then again, I was specking the cryoblast on him, and that made this a lot easier because he had a ton of AoE potential, and he didn't have to get up close and personal in order to do it. And before that, I didn't even realize how powerful tech detonations were, because I only specced into Cryoblast for the last few missions of the game. I forgot about this. Wasn't expecting the two brutes. And... This was going fairly well. To an extent. I mean, one's already at half-life. My party members are doing good damage, and the Valkyrie isn't being too awful. I mean, he's about done. You'd think that I would be successful, so I'm trying to use a charge to finish him off, and no, I charged him, and there's a little cart behind me, and it put me in just the perfect position to get stuck between the freaking brute and the freaking cart, so when I rolled backwards, I rolled into the cart. If there wasn't a cart there, I would have rolled backwards. I do that pretty much instinctively now, would have completely avoided their attacks, but as it happened, I got hit by both, and then died. And, actually, to be even more specific, I got hit by both of their attacks, and then, but one of the brutes died, and I was actually hit by his claw as he died, and that killed me. When you kill a brute, if you're right next to him, if he falls on you, you take damage. So I actually died from his corpse falling on me, so that was definitely a spectacular way to die. But I will not be making the same mistake again, I'm just not gonna charge. Not while they're right there, that's not happening. I was a little pissed about that death. Just a little bit. Maybe I should have known better. So after this, we have, I think, the final sequence of this mission. I'm going to be putting it into two parts, though, anyway, because it is really long. I didn't want the video to be over 20 minutes. So what we have two more parts to the total mission. Sorry if this is all confusing, but I think it'll be pretty self-explanatory when you actually see the, the episodes and how I laid them out. And the final episode again is going to be plot. The ending. We have a little more combat to go, though. A couple of marauders near the... the missiles. Oh, this is actually plot. I'll be back. Real- 
Blarg. Here we go. I didn't recall exactly how this worked, how many guys there were, so I was kind of cautious. I remember there being a lot more, but there's only like three or four in actuality. I did learn a few things about this fight as well. Not this fight, but just the total fight, the, the missile battery survival fight. And I didn't know. Not good things, really, just new ways to die that I didn't know about before. That sucked. I couldn't have arced around the phone booth. This is about done, guys. I think there might be just a little bit of plot near the end as well. So thanks for watching. Please sub if you like what I'm doing. And please like the video if you enjoyed it. Helps people find my work on the YouTubes. There's the artillery. And have a good one.